والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أهل الكتاب تعالوا إلى كلمة سواء بين وبينكم ألا نعبد إلا الله ولا نشك به شيئا ولا يتخذ بعضنا بعضا أربابا من دون الله فإن تولوا فقولوا اشهدوا بأننا مسلمون رب اشوه لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي I welcome all the brothers and sisters with the greetings used by Jesus Christ peace be upon him that is mentioned in the gospel of Luke chapter number 24 verse number 36 Shalom Alaikum and in Arabic we say Assalamu Alaikum may peace be upon you before we dwell into the topic I would like to emphasize on the issue that is happening in Palestine we cannot overlook the ongoing genocide massacre mass murder colonization that has been done to our brothers and sisters in Gaza are with you when we see our brothers and sisters in Gaza when they come out of the battle, they are bleeding family and friends and children have died because of the bombardment yet they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they do not lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brothers and sisters in Palestine they are the true heroes May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep our brothers and sisters in Gaza and in Palestine steadfast. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep them united. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them for all the sacrifice, the strive and struggle that they are doing. The more the media tries to malign Islam, the faster it grows. The truth, it will always prevail. How much ever the enemies of Islam, they try to extinguish the truth of Islam, Islam, it will prevail. And today the enemies of Islam, when Israel is attacking the Palestinians, as far as the media is concerned, they have lost the war as far as media is concerned. And it has become evident that they are unjustly bombarding our Palestinian brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep our Palestinian brothers and sisters steadfast and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them immensely. The truth, it will prevail. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Isra, chapter 17, verse 1. When the world against falsehood, falsehood perishes. Falsehood is by its name to perish the topic of this evening talk of mine is Islam and Christianity a comparative study in Nigeria the two major religions are Islam and Christianity as far as today's talk is concerned, we will be discussing the similarities between these two major world religions of the world. We will not be discussing about the differences. We will be discussing about the similarities so that the followers of these two religions, they can be united. What is the meaning of the word Islam? Islam comes from the root word Salam which means peace. It is also derived from the Arabic word silm, which means to submit your will to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thus, Islam means peace acquired by submitting your will to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have a misconception. Islam is and it came to existence years ago. Of all God. What in 
Home in heart and to every nation sent a guide. Our name to every farm has been joined. Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, may Allah be pleased with all of them. By name, 25 messengers are mentioned in the glorious Quran. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith for followers to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. The Muslims and the Christians, we are going together. But one may ask, then where are the parting of ways? The parting of ways are, there are many Christians who say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he claimed divinity. He said that he was almighty God. And all these 25 prophets by name, 25 messengers are mentioned in the glorious Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah An-Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 164, wa rusula la min qabl, wa la And messengers, some whose stories we have related to thee, and some whose stories we have not related to thee. And a similar message is also mentioned in Surah Al-Ghafir, chapter number 41, verse number 78. That messenger, some whose stories we have related to thee, and some whose stories we have not related to thee. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, and this hadith is mentioned in Mustadrak al Hakim, there were no less than 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. All the prophets that were sent for Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they were only meant for God's people, and the message that they proclaimed. Him, it was only meant for a particular period. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah Ali Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 49, wa rasoolan ila bani Israel, and a messenger to the children of Israel. That Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was sent as a messenger to the children of Israel. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the glorious Quran, in Surah to Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was appointed as a messenger to the children of Israel. A similar message is mentioned in the Bible. It mentioned the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 10, verse number 5 and 6. Christ, peace be upon him, says, Go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. Enter ye not into the city of the Samaritans, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. A similar message is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 15, verse number 24. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he says that go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So even when we read the Bible, we understand that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was only sent to the children of Israel, only to the Jews, only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But since Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Al-Ahzab, chapter number 33, verse number 40, مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٍ مِنْ رِجَالِكُمْ وَلَكِنْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ الشَّيْنَ عَلِيمًا And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he's not the father of any of you men, but he's the messenger of Allah, and the seal of the prophets. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of Almighty God. And he was not sent only for the Muslims or only for the Arabs, but he was sent for the whole of humanity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Al-Anbiya chapter number 21 verse 107, That we have sent thee not, but as a mercy to all the world, as a mercy to all creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humanity. 
A similar message is also mentioned in Surah Saba, chapter number 34, verse number 28. Send thee not, but as a universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning men against sin, but most of them they did not understand. Since Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was the last and final messenger. He was not sent only for the Muslim or only for the Arabs, but he was sent for the whole humanity. And the message that he proclaimed was meant for the whole of humanity. Be upon him, he's precise in the Bible. Upon me, chapter number 18, verse number 18 of the Old Testament. I shall raise thee up a prophet from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and shall speak to them all that I command. This verse of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 86. I shall raise thee up a prophet from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and I shall put my words. And he should teach them all the command. Now, many of the Christians they say that this prophecy refers to the only similarity of the fulfillment of this prophecy. Then all the prophets mentioned in the Bible after Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, all of them were Jews, and all of them they were prophets. For example, Solomon, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Daniel, Joel, John the Baptist, all Jews and all of of God. To are the only fulfillment of the prophecy, then all prophets after peace be upon mentioned the man fulfill the prophecy. Therefore, this prophecy not be fit anyone but Prophet Muhammad be upon him. If we analyze Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, both of them they were born naturally. Whereas Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse 47, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was born miraculously. And the same message is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 1, verse 18, as well as in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 1, verse 35, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was born miraculously, without any made intervention. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was like Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was unlike Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Furthermore, if we analyze, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, both of them, they were married and they had children. Whereas Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not get married nor did he have children. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was like Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was unlike Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Furthermore, when we read the Quran and the Bible, we come to know that Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, both of them, they died a natural death. Whereas Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not die a natural death. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah al Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 158 But Allah raised him up unto himself And the same Is mentioned in the Bible Jesus Christ peace be upon him He was not crucified But certain Christians may argue And they say that Jesus Christ peace be upon him Was crucified Irrespective whether he was crucified Or whether he was raised up alive He did not die a natural death so Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was like Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was unlike Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Furthermore, when we read the Quran and the Bible, we come to know that Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, both of them, they were accepted by the people as a whole. Whereas Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 11. He came unto his own, and his own not. So read the Bible, read the Quran, no Prophet Moses peace be upon him, and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Both were 